Picking a stateroom on a celebrity cruise can be a big task, very confusing. There are so many different categories to choose from. There are eight types of balcony staterooms and lots of different kinds of suites. And these come at all price points. I'll break it down for you today so you can understand and make the right decision for you and your traveling party. Today on Seymour Seas. Today, we are going to review all of the different types of categories of staterooms on celebrity cruises. Hi and welcome. I'm Doug and this is Seymour Seas, your cruise tips and planning channel, where I hope to help you and your family pick, plan, and enjoy your next cruise vacation. If you do find this video helpful in any way, please do give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and helps my channel grow. Thanks so much for coming by today and let's get started. Let's start off with a definition. When you are looking at all of the different categories of staterooms, you may see in each of those categories or some of those categories, a guaranteed stateroom option. If you're new to cruising, a guaranteed stateroom basically means that the cruise line is going to pick the location for you a couple weeks before the cruise. Depending on what is left over in that category, they will select the location for you. This is normally the cheapest option for you, and if you do not care where the stateroom is located or what deck, then this is a great budget saving option for you to consider. There are several types of categories of staterooms on celebrity cruises. We'll be going through all of them for you and detailing the option with each category. These range from an inside stateroom that does not have any type of window, and then you'll move into an ocean view stateroom, which normally has a porthole or a window. And then we'll move into the veranda staterooms where there are several different categories based on location. Then we move into the veranda staterooms with levels of service, such as a concierge uh, level stateroom, an aqua class stateroom that's tied to the spa. And then we move into the suites, which is called the retreat on celebrity cruises. We'll go through each of those categories. However, I do wanna note that on some of the solstice class ships, and on all of the edge class ships, you will be able to select a solo cruiser stateroom as well. If you're new to Celebrity Cruises, please watch my video of Celebrity Cruises Explained and Exposed. It goes through all the different types of classes of ship and it provides a very detailed overview of Celebrity Cruises. I'll leave a link in the description below for you. No matter what category of stateroom you choose, one thing to note is that all of the included items in your base fare stay the same throughout each of the categories. All of your food in the main dining room and in the buffet are always going to be included in your base fare. You will also have all access to the main theater entertainment, as well as all of the pop-up um, musical ensembles that you'll see throughout the ship, both during the afternoon and the evening. Also, all of the games, the trivia you'll experience throughout the day, that's also all included. So the activities team will have lots of stuff going on around the pool and in the different venues around the ship. Now there are some additional four fee items that uh, will be an extra charge, such as specialty dining reservations, uh, specialty coffees, unless you have the drink package, and also things like gelato. Those are gonna be um, extra charges, but you can purchase those through your onboard account or if you have any onboard credit as part of a promotion. 
Now let's start with the first category of stateroom, and these are normally going to be the least expensive option for you, and that is your standard inside stateroom. These are normally going to be on a lower deck, and they are also going to be probably centrally located. These are going to sleep two to four people, depending on whether there is a sleeper sofa uh, in the, the cabin, and it does come with a queen size bed that can be split in half for two twins if you're just traveling with a friend. The inside stateroom categories continue with a prime stateroom, and this is an inside stateroom in a more desirable location on board the ship. This normally sleeps two, however, it may sleep four if there is a sleeper sofa on board. These are normally on a higher deck and they are all over the ship, central, forward, and near the back, aft of the ship. And inside stateroom is also gonna be very dark. There's absolutely no natural light coming in, so you will not be able to see what time of day it is. So I definitely recommend an alarm clock as well as a night light so that you can maneuver the room uh, in the middle of the night without having to turn on all the lights to go to the bathroom. Now, one other thing to note, on the Celebrity Reservation site, you'll find that now the inside staterooms are defaulting to a cruise only fare and you can upgrade that when you go through the reservation process to the all included package which does include the basic drink package the basic wi-fi as well as tips and gratuities but it does default to the cruise only fare to show the lowest rate possible to learn more about the all included fare from celebrity watch this video next and I'll also leave that link in the description below as well. The next category of stateroom is an ocean view stateroom. Ocean view staterooms have the porthole or a large window. The standard ocean view is going to be on the lower decks, normally central or forward, and they sleep two to four people depending on the sofa bed situation. The next level is going to be the prime ocean view stateroom, and these are going to be normally on an upper deck facing forward with very large windows looking out on the front of the ship. These also sleep two to four depending on sofa bed availability. Also to note, just like the inside staterooms, in the reservation process, the prices of these staterooms default to the cruise only fare and you can upgrade to the all included promotion as you go through finalizing your reservation. On most of the celebrity ships, the veranda staterooms, which are balcony staterooms, are a very high percentage of the staterooms on board. That's why there are so many different choices. So in a standard balcony stateroom, you're going to have a queen or king size bed that can be split into two twins. You'll have a sofa, you'll have a veranda, and you'll have a nice size bathroom. The standard veranda stateroom is going to normally be on some of the middle level floors, some with obstructed views. Then you'll move into the prime veranda stateroom, which is going to be on a higher level floor. And depending on the location, the prices and class of veranda staterooms might change. These veranda staterooms also sleep anywhere between two and four people. Then you'll move into a deluxe veranda stateroom, which is going to be in midship on a centrally located deck. Then you have a sunset veranda, which is going to be facing the very back of the ship. That is called the aft, and you'll have a beautiful view of the wake of the ship as it goes through the ocean. There is a specialized veranda stateroom type on the edge class ships called an infinite veranda. This is not your normal outside open air balcony. It is an extension of the room where you have a full window with the top that slides down. You can see that here in the video and 
if you have that window raised, it allows you to have about 20 to 25% more cabin space internally. And this is very popular with some people, other people don't like it as much, and they'd rather have the standard outside full air balcony with a sliding glass door. Now, as you look at the deck plans, for the different types of veranda staterooms, you will see that there is a 1C, which is going to be your standard veranda stateroom that might have an obstructed view. Then you have a 1B, which is going to be more of the prime location. And then a 1A, which is going to be your um, deluxe veranda staterooms. Many people don't realize that there are still standard open air balcony veranda staterooms on the edge class ships. There aren't that many of them. And so make sure that you're talking to your travel advisor to point those out and to see if that is a desired location for you. Some of those do have somewhat obstructed views where their balcony is not 100% open. It's normally the big circle at the front of the ships. Um, so you'll have a steel circle window to look through from your balcony. So make sure that you take a ship tour of one of those before you book it. So let's now move into additional veranda category staterooms. And these come with different types of perks and services. The first is the concierge class stateroom. These are your basic veranda staterooms with all of the same layout as all of the other verandas. However, they do come with some upgraded bath amenities as well as a dedicated concierge that is available to these guests that will allow them to book dining reservations, specialty dining, make sure that uh, their excursions are taken care of. They also have priority uh, debarkation in those cruise ports, specifically if there is a tendering situation. And they also have a few perks on embarkation day with enhanced priority check-in as well as a welcome lunch in the main dining room. Then you have the prime concierge class stateroom, which is going to be on a higher deck midship in a much more desired location, close to the amenities of the pool as well as the buffet. A sunset concierge class stateroom is going to be at the aft of the ship, normally on a higher level floor, and that's going to be right in the middle of the back of the ship. Here you also have three different types of staterooms shown on the deck plan. The C3 is the concierge levels that could be on some of the middle decks uh, at the aft or forward. You have the C2, which is going to be midship. And then you're gonna have the C1, which is going to be in the most desirable locations for the concierge class of stateroom. We have booked the concierge class level stateroom a few times and that welcome lunch is actually quite nice. Uh, the concierge themselves, uh, we used just a few times, but the biggest benefit, I believe, of this level of stateroom is location. These are the most desirable balcony locations uh, on board the ship, so that is something to take into consideration when booking this level of stateroom. Moving on to yet another category of veranda stateroom is aqua class. Aqua class has the most perks of any of the veranda staterooms. Now this comes with unlimited access to celebrities spa area, the Persian garden, which is the relaxation area with the nice uh, stone chairs. It's got the different types of saunas and relaxation areas. And this is a very, very nice area. I went to the Persian Garden once. I don't think that I would go there every day with unlimited access, but that's me, not you. You may absolutely love that. It also has a concierge for the spa to make spa appointments. It also has highly upgraded uh, bath amenities and bedding options 
for those staterooms, as well as access to its own private dining room, which is blue on all celebrity ships. Blue is supposedly the healthier, cleaner uh, cuisine within the celebrity ship, and it's a very, very nice venue. You get a little bit more personalized service than you would get in the main dining room, and it's on level with the specialty dining and the suites restaurant Lumine. So those are some of the benefits of the Aqua class staterooms. They are exactly the same size as the concierge class, as well as the standard veranda staterooms. So depending on the perks that are important to you, you may or may not find the Aqua class worth it. Many, many people do, and they love it. I will also state that with Aqua Class, this is where on the reservation site for Celebrity, the all included fare is the default fare. You will have to downgrade that with Celebrity because it is the default by getting the Wi Fi, the drink package, and tips and gratuities automatically um, included with your base fare for Aqua Class. On the deck plan, you will see that Aqua Class staterooms are listed as A2 and A1, depending on their location. Now that was a lot of choices for veranda staterooms on Celebrity. Let's now move into the retreat, which are the suites on board a Celebrity cruise ship. Now there are several suites to choose from. Celebrity has done a magnificent job in providing lots of different options for suites. And this is where they're trying to pull away from some of the competition. They include some very, very nice amenities with all suite levels, which anytime that is listed as the retreat and a suite, you will be getting full premium drink package. You will be getting the premium Wi-Fi package, tips and gratuities. You will also have your own retreat host, which is your butler that can handle your unpacking or packing, make all of your specialty dining reservations. You'll have priority seating in the specialty restaurants as well as in the theater. You will also have access, unlimited access, to your own private dining room, which is Lumine. On the Solstice class and Millennium class ships, Lumine is located as part of the main dining room, which is completely blocked off as a separate uh, entity and venue in itself with a separate entrance, and that is very clearly marked for suite guests. On the Edge class, it is on one of the higher upper decks where it is attached to the Retreat Lounge, which you will find on um, the Solstice class and Millennium class as Michael's Club for those that have not been yet revolutionized. So Michael's Club is the retreat suites lounge on those ships. Edge Class has its own retreat lounge and then it also has its own retreat sun deck with its own bar, pool, and hot tubs. So the ship within a ship concept is absolutely there on the Edge Class ships, but it is a little bit more segmented on the Solstice and Millennium Class. The very, very upper deck of the Solstice Class ships, those that have been uh, revolutionized, is now the Retreat Sun Deck. It was called the Solstice Deck, if you remember. So there are lots of different perks as it comes with any of the suite levels. There are lots of different options for suites. It begins with the entry level Sky Suite. It comes with all the amenities that I just listed, and there's a variety of types of Sky Suites depending on the location. There are aft corner Sky Suites on the Solstice class ships that we actually had when we uh, sailed Alaska. It was a perfect location. There's also Sky Suites that face out to the ocean on the Edge class, and those are listed on the deck plans as S3, S2, and S1, again, depending on where it is on the ship. 
These Sky Suites are about 50% bigger than your standard veranda stateroom. And there's even an Aqua Sky Suite option for you so that you also get those Aqua Class amenities in the suites environment. We then move into the Celebrity Suite. The Celebrity Suite is a one bedroom, one bath suite. So it actually has a separate bedroom where you can close the door, which is very, very nice. It comes with a very large veranda, obviously. And then you move up into the Signature Suite. The Signature Suite is also a one bedroom, one bath, but it has a little bit more living area. It comes also with a large walk-in closet and a much larger tub shower combination with a rain shower head within the Signature Suite bathroom. We then move into the much larger Royal Suite, which is a one bedroom, one and a half bath stateroom where you have a very large dining area, you have a very large um, living area with an expansive veranda that also includes a whirlpool hot tub. The bathroom is absolutely massive and the nice half bath right inside the entry makes it very nice for multiple people staying in this stateroom because it can sleep up to four as well as if you have any guests over, it's very convenient. Next, you have the penthouse suite. The penthouse suite is a huge stateroom and it has an expansive living area with a huge big screen, flat screen television in both the living area as well as the separate bedroom. It has dining for eight and it also has a baby grand piano. The veranda is absolutely massive. It also includes a whirlpool hot tub. It does also have that guest bathroom just inside uh, the entry to the cabin. On the Celebrity Reflection, which is the last Solstice class ship built, there is one stateroom called the Reflection Suite, which is a two bedroom, two bath stateroom that has tons of amenities. It's very, very large as well as it has a special cantilevered shower in the master bathroom. Specifically on the Edge class ships, there are some very unique suites added to those ships, one of which is the Sky Suite located near the Magic Carpet. That's that orange platform that goes up and down on the side of the ship. Well, on those Sky Suites, you have the possibility of linking those together with an inside room, making that a two bedroom, two bath suite for families. I think that is an excellent, brilliant design. And also there are two story suites called the Edge Villas. These are located at the front of the ship. They are uh, able to sleep four. It does have one bedroom, two full baths, as well as a plunge pool on their balcony. On the second level, it has direct access out to the retreat, the retreat private sun deck. Then you have the most massive suites in the fleet with the iconic suites. There are two of them and they are directly over the bridge on each side and it has a very, very expansive um, veranda area with its own plunge pool and hot tub, as well as a lot of area for lounging and entertaining. These are some of the most technologically advanced staterooms at sea, and it's got a lot of whistles and bells, as you can imagine. So there you have it. There's the deep dive into all of the different stateroom categories and types on celebrity cruises. Make sure you do look at those deck plans and make sure you understand which stateroom you're getting and always look at the stateroom key on those deck plans so you know where the sofa beds are, the connecting rooms, as well as if there are uh, rooms above and below you. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please do give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, everyone. And as always, 
I'll see you again soon.